Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Victor the Magician, and you're watching Victor in the Kitchen, where today I'll be challenging the very concept of entropy itself. Now, entropy is one of the founding laws of thermodynamics, one of the most important rules of our universe. It's the law that says ordered states of matter and energy tend towards states of greater disorder, that energy and matter distribute themselves in a state of chaos, basically, that you can start with a very dense ordered form of energy and it will always ultimately tend towards a form of randomness. Now, this flow of energy from order to disorder is what makes energy available for life to use. It's the reason we all exist, but it's also the reason the universe is gradually cooling and stars will eventually burn out and stop burning. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, really. Luckily, as a magician, I have our deck of the day, arcane playing cards, which have just enough magical power in them to reverse entropy. Now, the physicists among you will scoff, and you will say that that's impossible. What am I on about? There are no physicists watching this channel. But let's pretend that there are, and let's prove them wrong. Let's begin. Now, if you were here in the kitchen with me, I might start by asking you to leave because I didn't invite you. But let's pretend that I did and that I instead asked you to pick a card. Now, unfortunately, you're not actually here, so we're just going to have to choose a card at random. It doesn't actually matter what the card is or if I see it. It's not that type of trick. So let's uh, have a look at it. The Six of Diamonds. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. And all I'm going to do is lose that in the deck like so. Yeah, make sure it is well and truly lost in there. Whoops. Nearly dropped my cards then, ladies and gentlemen. And just to check, I haven't accidentally cut it to the top. That is the Eight of Diamonds, close but not quite. Or to the bottom, that's the King of Spades, not even close. Brilliant. So we now have our card, our Six of Diamonds, lost somewhere in the deck. And that's going to be important at the end, because the mysterious reappearance of that card obviously represents us drawing order from the chaos of the deck. But let's go one further. Let's really disorder the deck. See, first of all, let's give it a couple of cuts. And then a couple more cuts, but this time... Yep. Yeah, Try and make it about about even about half and half this time, but about half of them face up and half of them face down. See, there it is. Happens to be our joker. And the other half face down. And what we're going to do is we're going to interweave these cards together, face down into face up. By the way, in magic, we call this a pharaoh shuffle. I have absolutely no idea why, because it was invented by a man named Pharaoh. There we go. Face up, face down, interwoven. I'm not sure why I said that in the style of Moss from the IT crowd, aka Richard Iowardi, but I did. And now we all just have to live with that reality. So the deck is now as mixed up as it's ever going to get. We have, uh, yeah face up cards, face down cards, in fact, there we go, face down and face down, face up and face up, face down, face down, or if I cut it a different way, face up and face down, face up and face up, face down and face up, basically, it's a mess. But what happens if I do this? If I use the magic inherent in this deck of cards, to fight against the forces of entropy. Well, our face, our top face down card, I mean, oh, sorry, our top face up card is now face down. In fact, it's not just that card, it is basically all the cards in the deck. No, really, it's not just these top few cards or that top card, it's actually all of them, except for just the one. Because right here, right well, from the middle of the deck, it's actually quite near the top, I guess that's just where it happened to be, is one card that remains face up. 
And that card is the Six of Diamonds, the card we chose at the beginning of the illusion. I realised that was a bit janky, that performance, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a new trick. And again, I was fighting the forces of entropy, so forgive me if my patter was slightly off this time. At any rate, I think that's a very impressive achievement. We have reversed one of the most fundamental laws of physics in our universe. I'll see you next time for more magic, when we can do something hopefully just as impressive again next time. Good evening.